Hey guys, it's Matt Crompton from the Titan Outlet Store in Moorhead. We're just going to do a little video today of a kind of a walk around of a corn head and a, a little how-to video. Let's get started. Uh, today we got a 2008 2612 corn head. It's a 12 row 30. Uh, it's got the field tracker, everything on it. We're going to hook it up to an 8120 combine. So of course, uh, I got it lifted up and out of the bay area out there, or the lineup. And uh, so of course, you know, you got her hooked up. And uh, you want to get your lock up in here. Just watch your fingers. Go to the first notch there. Um, and of course, we know how important everything is for shields, so. We got our drive shaft here, which is a 540 PTO drive shaft. You'll always want to make sure you got some JB80 with or something. Just helps get this drive shaft on there all the way until that lock collar locks. And you want to pull back on it. Show you what I'm talking about, just like that. And make sure that that comes off. And we got our single point hookup and our electrical. Have luck getting it hooked up right away, like so. The more we do with these, Evan always laughs because he says I'm a little slow at these, but, and of course your single point hydraulics, which is there. So there we got it. We got our drive shaft. Always want to make sure you got your safety chains on. You got our electrical or hydraulics. Our drive shaft hooked up. Of course, we got one on the other side we'll go to. And we'll walk in front. Just gives you a good uh, good idea of what the corn head looks like. We got poly snouts, steel auger. A nice looking corn head. Uh, it's gonna be a re really wonderful harvest, we're hoping. We had really nice weather. Once again, it's a dual drive, so go to the other side of the machine and See how lucky we get on this one. You'll always want to make sure you get them nice and greased up or lubed up, however you want to talk about it. You hear that click, it's locked in. And make sure his chains are on. And there we got it. So now we got our corn head hooked up. So we'll get back out here and we'll talk a little thing about uh, the corn head itself. All right, guys, now we're to the part where we're just going to do a basic walk around. Um, we'll start on this side, just being because we just hooked up the last drive shaft. Here you got your main gearbox. And of course, you know, at the outlet store, we do get used pieces. So you will see things like this where it's had a hole, it's been welded. So you always want to make sure that, you know, you don't see any oil. It's dry. That's a good indicator. Here you got your drain and your fill plug which is your gearbox make sure your seals good nothing's leaking it's a good idea to open this one up have it on the ground and then check the oil in there um, our mechanics have already been through this head so we're good there no leakage around there um, you know just double check all around here tins looking good a little bit of a bend in here and then you want to make sure your chains are up here for your your height control. Um, what I'll do here is I'll lift up one of these for you guys. As you can see on these, we've got some new rods in here for the holder. There's just a handle here to lift up the, the poly snout. This way you can check all your gathering chains, your sprockets, make sure they're not really rounded off. You have your adjustment here for tightness. Here is for your um, uh, you're uh, drawing a blank right now, but this is your lock out, lock in for your hydraulic deck plates. Just make sure that they're moving freely. And then once again, your chains, you know, check them over. Do have a little bit of damage here. This is probably one thing 
You can buy a stainless steel kit and put on there. Make sure your flaps are all in place as I'll have Evan come down the line here. You want to make sure all your rubber flaps are in to catch all them extra cobs that are coming out. And then uh, as we walk down, you know, we got our center one here. Make sure the chain's hooked up on that one again. And as we can see here, there's a good picture of our knife rolls. There's a nice, you know, it's about the right gap. Got a little bit of wear on there, typical wear for a corn head. Um, make sure that you don't have any big chunks or any of them are broke. Those are a piece you can just bolt on and off. Make sure your steel snouts here are good. Nothing's, you know, bent or broke, missing there. Here again, uh, this is uh, a piece here where, you know, this is something I would cons highly consider is, you know, make sure that gap is very limited. As we all know, uh, a little loss can add up to be a lot of money. So this is something where I'd probably replace both of these. You know, cobs can just come out of here pretty good. Uh, I got a couple little dents up in the auger, but <clears throat> nothing's rubbing on the floor. Um, right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crawl up into the cab. I'm gonna raise it up, lock it, and then come back down and we'll go through a couple other things. Like again, once again guys, you know, we always preach safety, so take your time, make sure you go down the ladder the right way. You don't have a lot of mud on there. Put your lock in place, your cylinder stop. It's very important. You never want to hear of anybody getting crushed or anything. Oh, this particular head has the flaps back here. You know, make sure they're intact. Once again, we got everything hooked up here. Make sure your flashers are working, because I know, you know, during the corn season, they're not as easy to unhook, so a lot of guys run down the road. Always make sure your flashers are working, guys. Once again, it's a dual drive, so you got another gearbox here. This one's really good shape, no leaks, nothing like that. As you can see, the nice silicone underneath here. Um, and then we get into our knives here. We'll keep our distance as always, but so you got your knife rolls, which are right here, and then you have a, a an additional knives chopper as I call it a chopping head so you want to make sure that you know they're free spinning all the knives look good check where your bearings are go up and down make sure you don't have a lot of free play otherwise you're gonna to have to replace your your bearings look down the row make sure all your knives are clear um, all the rubber is intact uh, gathering chains and we'll just kind of walk out here and just kind of go down the row and you know a good idea is before you start it up is just make sure that all the knives are free and that they're going to spin you don't want to be underneath these heads anymore and you have to but just make sure that everything's loose and like I said that you got grease in those things and they're, they're adjustable <clears throat> they are adjustable as far as uh, not the knives themselves but just make sure that your knife rolls um, have the same distance same same gap make sure your chains give them a good oil bath cleaned up shined up okay guys so that kind of wraps up our our walk around and of, of a how-to video basically hooking up the corn head and then what to check on the on a, a particular case IH head like this. It really doesn't matter what type of head you have on it. The basics are the gathering chains, knives, gearboxes, make sure to polish snouts, your auger, all that stuff is in, in, in place because the most important thing is the safety. And we want to make sure that you guys are always, you know, pushing for safety. Um, so once again behind me is the corn head that we talked about today, uh, 12 row. 2612 Cornhead 2008 model doesn't matter what the year is they all have the basic concepts is make sure you do all these things check the things over the more the better the head is prepared and, and done right the more you're going to get out of it the more efficient you're going to be the more money you're going to save so wrapping up today I just want to thank you guys for watching one of our another how to or walk around videos this one being kind of the main one of the year with a corn crop the way you know corn's been the last few years uh, this is going to be a great harvest this year hopefully you guys have an outstanding crop once again i just 
you know, urge the safety. I hope you guys have a, first of all, a safe and wonderful harvest. Uh, and thanks again for watching this video. Thank you for watching this Titan Outlet instructional video. If you are interested in viewing more videos, click on the links you see here or continue browsing our YouTube channel. If you have any feedback, questions, or like to suggest a future video, be sure to leave a comment below.